Bonnie Hanford. So I want to take just a minute and thank our colleagues in Washington from Washington Physicians for Social Responsibility for putting together the exhibit and uh, opening it up to Oregon artists and allowing us to exhibit it here in Oregon for the first time. And a special shout out to Nancy and Diane Dickman and also Steve Gilbert, who are the co-founders and co-curators of the exhibit. And I would encourage anyone who's here tonight, if you haven't had a chance to take a look at it, um, it will be open here this evening, and then it's open Thursday and Friday, 9 to 5-ish, um, and it'll be taken down on Saturday. So please take a moment to look around if you haven't already seen it. And uh, with that, I'm going to just... Oh, I'm going to thank one more group of people, and then I'm going to turn it over to Chuck. Um, I also want to thank the Oregon PSR Peace Work Group for all their hard work to bring the exhibit here and to help put together the four events that we've done in the past six weeks. Um, and thank all of you for being here tonight. I'm going to turn it over to Chuck, who will introduce our panels and take it from there. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Um, I'm Chuck Johnson. I'm the uh, director of the Joint Task Force on Nuclear Power for Oregon and Washington Physicians for Social Responsibility. And um, we've been working closely with uh, Nancy Mattella uh, on a project to uh, attempt to close our last remaining nuclear power plant, the Columbia Generating Station. She's going to be talking a bit more about that later on tonight. Um, we have five people on our panel, and I'm going to introduce them and have them speak briefly, and uh, uh, no questions uh, during, after, during their speeches or, or afterwards, but when everyone's had a chance to speak, then uh, the panel will join us here, and everyone will have a chance to ask some questions at that point. Uh, the first person of our, on our panel um, is John Allison, uh, MD. He's a retired radiologist. A member of uh, PSR Oregon's Advisory Committee and the National Radiation Health Advisory Committee. has been serving on the Hanford Advisory Committee for the last several years where he has spent himself uh, on the technical challenges of cleanup there, and I believe that is what we'll be addressing tonight. Thank you, Brian. My intention is to sort of familiarize you a little bit about, with the highlights of the Hanford site. As you see on the slide, the, uh, the Hanford site is... Uh, yeah. <coughs> Hanford site uh, is located about a three and a half hour drive